Hey there, uh, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and we're going to be looking at this custom module that I've created for Touch Designer that you can simply download and drag into your project and then uh, the end goal is to have the blob tracking or object tracking, essentially these little squares, um, be accessible to all versions of Touch Designer. So this will work in the free and pro models but it will also um, be a tool that I continually develop with um, sort of like graphic design and artists in mind as opposed to blob tracking which is traditionally used for maybe surveillance or um, you know is more designed in that sort of way um, this module will be designed with more of a visual aesthetic in mind uh, with that said this is very much in its early alpha stages and is going to be available to download and link below um, and for my patrons uh, the feedback you provide will help develop this really quickly and make it you know something really nice but also later on uh, I'm going to briefly mention how you can actually program this yourself if you want to do everything for free and do everything yourself um, I will provide some links and instructions on how to do that but yeah, so um, let's go ahead and briefly go over how to use this module. But essentially this video is pretty useless. It's pretty straightforward and should be easy to use. So you can download it and then you'll simply be able to drag and drop it into your project like so. Um, and up here we have the controls that we have enabled thus far. And you can see if I go ahead and grab a movie file in uh, like so, well this one automatically connects. Um, but I'm going to change this to a, let's do one of the stock touch designer videos. Um, let's do this one. Um, you can see here that it is already doing um, some blob tracking and I can connect in a null coming out of it, for example, and then set that to my background and we can actually see uh, what is going on here. Um, so what I'll also do is pull up a traditional blob track and quickly explain um, some of the differences so far. So again, this is designed with graphic designers, but also beginner users in mind. Uh, and this blob track, I have the premium version of Touch Designer here, but uh, this blob track is actually limited to just two blobs on the um, fr uh, free version. Uh, but there's a lot of complicated features that people have, such as like extracting out the coordinates and then applying a fix to that. And hopefully the idea with this module is to take all of those familiar touch designer effects and apply it to simply be some controls you can toggle on and off as well as providing um, some new ones that we haven't seen before. Um, so going down, first we have our line width. This is currently disabled uh, because um, there is some problems I'm having with just normalizing that value. And again, to me, I was like, okay, let's focus on just getting this module out. So it's currently the width of the line is a set fixed um, width we have a invert blob feature which will invert the colors of the blobs inside um, we have some slight bugs here where when they overlay they cancel each other out which you know makes sense um, but it's all stuff that we're going to be continually working on oh i say we i say me um, draw trails uh, which is you might be familiar with this essentially just draws lines connecting um, all the dots together like so um, this one's quite noisy and I think I will like look to do some different algorithms. Right now it connects like all the points um, to where it's jumping between. Uh, but I might add that as a threshold or something later down the line. We have show, show IDs which is also slightly bugs. Um, at least not sitting exactly where I want and it's upside down. So I just need to, again, very quick fixes. You can see this was developed very quickly and I had some friends test it out for me. Um, and there were some issues and so we addressed those issues and I was like cool it is now working on uh, other people's machines so we can at least um, play with it that way. Uh, then we have a min and max size which is pretty self-explanatory so if we drag the min size down to zero um, it has a uh, max limit sorry max minimum of like one by one I believe um, and then the max size can sort of go up to anything you want but you can also exceed that value if you want. We have this trend line feature, which is more of a um, example per se in my mind of like what we can do beyond um, just the typical features we have in Touch Designer. So this, I feel like this graphic effect isn't anything too remarkable. It just um, 
plots the averages of the blobs currently and then goes across and this will continually scroll across um but i think i just wanted to include this one because it was like really quick to code up um, and everything i've done so far has been purely done in programming uh, but the next steps i intend to do is to extract these blob values out like how we do with a traditional blob track and then um, within this module have the traditional touch designer effects so that way if people want to customize this module um, you can uh, next we have color again this is also currently disabled so it's just a fixed color of white but again will be something i look to address in the next one and then finally we have our threshold which um, you can see works exactly like how the other threshold works with just um dark to bright sort of um, kit configured parameters the other blob track as well um, has a second input here which is essentially uh, your color image versus your background image which will help define the two bases for the blob track um, it can get a little bit complicated to sort of refine and direct your blob tracking so another thing I'll be looking to develop in this module, maybe a little bit later on, is um, specified tracking. Implementing face tracking with OpenCV is also re relatively easy. So whether or not I do that with this module or a different module, we'll see. Um, but essentially, that's it. And it should be good to use uh, as is. If we quickly take a look inside, you can see we have this um, backup script here which is uh, if you want to play around with modifying any of the values but also like keep this um, intact then you have this here but otherwise you don't really need to touch that and as I said to you everything so far has been done exclusively in Python and OpenCV um, which is a free open source approach so all of that to say while I am um, putting this available on my Patreon if you have the means and the ability to program in this, it's relatively easy uh, this yourself, then by all means, pl please implement your own uh, version. Um, but later down the line, uh, once I fix up some of the bugs, I'll be looking to add in the traditional sort of like um, CV coordinates and then displacement effects, as well as having sections with inside of this module with instructions on how to customize it for yourself. Um, but as for now, um, we essentially have this whole um, Python imp implementation here which has kind of ballooned a little bit um, because of all the features I've tried to add thus far um, but if you want to include your own solution essentially what you just need to do is use this script top um, which is sitting here uh, and then within here you can on the on cook section you want to sort of include the um, handling of OpenCV implementation, which I'll provide some links and resources to. There's like a million different people have programmed this already uh, just outside of Touch Designer. And then you will just need to use Touch Designer programming, which I'll also um, include some resources to, uh, to take in a video and to output a video in real time. And essentially that's how you get this working inside of TD. Um, but yeah, I think that is everything. I hope it's very obvious. Um, I think this module has been developed out of pure necessity with the amount of people that comment on any of my blob tracking tutorials about like, hey, this doesn't work in the free version. I'm completely lost here. I got lost when you did this part or this part. Um, and as much as I try to simplify those down, that's just, I suppose, like quite a big limitation uh, and since this is such a desirable effect and sort of pushing the um, VFX, uh, you know, line of touch designer forward, I thought it would be really nice to sort of implement this more beginner friendly one. Um, but yeah, any suggestions as to, for example, um, like features or visual effects or anything really I would love for you guys to include as well as um, modifications to the file if, as well if you feel comfortable doing that um, I would love to see please um, otherwise yeah OpenCV uh, and Python are included in the runtime of uh, Touch Designer so there isn't any external modules such as with like MediaPipe that you would have to install download and configure um, so I'll probably look to do some more OpenCV modules but I'm also going to work on other modules 
uh, requiring external third-party downloads. So if you guys have any ideas for any like AI integrations or anything you would love to see brought to Touch Designer, I would love to do that as well. Um, I would love to, I really want to contribute more to this community and but also keep my content uh, beginner minded and cent like centered around new uh, people coming into the software because it's such a steep learning curve. But with that all said, I'm just pretty much going to leave it here today. Um, feel free to download in the link below. And if you want to try implement this for yourself completely free, uh, there are links down below for programming OpenCV as well as then incorporating it into Touch Designer. Uh, if you have any amount of programming experience, I highly recommend you give it at least a shot because then you'll be able to, um, yeah, do exactly what you want with this. But yeah, that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.